Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Young Miami has broken her silence about the sexual assault allegations against her ex, Sean Diddy Combs. The rapper, 30, whose real name is Kershaw Brownlee, touched on the legal woes surrounding the disgraced music mogul, 54, on the Thursday, August 8th episode of her Revolt podcast, Kershaw Please. Over the past year, Diddy has faced civil lawsuits from multiple women involving sexual abuse allegations, including from his ex, Cassie, real name Cassandra Ventura, whom he dated on and off from 2007 to 2018. Diddy has vehemently denied all claims against him. I can't speak on something that wasn't my experience. I can't speak on something I don't know, young Miami told her friend Saucy Santana on the podcast. I can't speak on these allegations because I wasn't around at the time. I don't know that person and that wasn't my experience. Young Miami went on to add that she felt as though she was crucified after the allegations against Diddy, who she was first linked to in 2021, emerged. People feel like I was Diddy's biggest cheerleader and I made him my brand. And I feel like Diddy was on brand for me, she said. I met him when he was in another era. I met Diddy when the world was celebrating him and giving him his flowers when he was alive, clarifying that she and Diddy are no longer together, which she previously confirmed in an April 2023 interview with The Cut, Young Miami shared the toll the situation has taken on her mental health. When all these things came out, I just needed to take a break and focus on what's important, which is me and my career and my family, she said. I needed to let him navigate and figure that out on his own because I can't be caught up in that. Diddy was sued in November 2023 by ex-girlfriend Cassie, who alleged that the rapper raped and physically abused her multiple times over a 10-year period. Diddy vehemently denied all allegations before settling the lawsuit out of court. Cassie's lawsuit inspired multiple other individuals to come forward with similar accusations against Diddy, all of which the rapper has denied. In May, CNN obtained 2016 footage of Diddy grabbing Cassie, now 37, by her neck and kicking her repeatedly. He apologized for his actions in a video statement at the time. It's difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life, sometimes you gotta do that, he said in an Instagram video, which has since been removed from his page. I was F, ked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. Diddy continued, I went and sought out professional help. I've been going to therapy, going to rehab. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry, but I'm committed to being a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. In March, Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami were raided by Homeland Security. The raids were conducted in connection to a federal sex trafficking investigation. Diddy has not been charged with, or arrested for, a crime. There was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences, Diddy's attorney Aaron Dyer told our channel in a statement. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. If you or someone you know has been sexually assaulted, Contact the National Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673.